you know many people they do keep a camera inside the house right oh this is my is my baby sitter taking care of my baby properly there's plus and minus to it so your book the wisdom bridge which came out recently uh as someone who's not a parent um i i had a difficult time understanding some of the things that were written for a parent but i figured you know i would instead look at my childhood and compare that to your childhood you mentioned you grew up like in a village in gujarat where you were able to run free uh you had all the freedom in the world and you were raised by essentially an entire village which is like a more tribal kind of uh upbringing different than the kind of upbringing that people have now in nuclear families who are either they're raised by their parents or by their maids or by whoever is available sorry the surroundings the surroundings right and one of the lines that really struck out to me was you said back then it was not important to make children feel special but to make them feel secure right and if you read any of the articles today if you read about the helicopter parenting in china or you read about how in certain famous schools in india parents have access to cctv footage of their kids so that they can go and go see what they're doing at all times it's very very different from the kind of world that you grew up in why do you think making children feel special is a problem it's not so much about not making them feel special i think making them feel special often drains parents your energies are invested in a wrong track you are investing your funds your limited resources into things which you should not be really bothered about so if you don't have a trust in a school why let your child be going to visiting that school at all if you don't have trust how are you inculcating trust in your child so i saw you doing this i saw you were playing this i saw you were crying baby what was wrong with you today watching 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 and imagine what happens to the child later on papa is watching papa is watching papa is watching everybody is watching me they can't express themselves freely and any time you are not able to express yourself freely you know you feel bound and your inner creativity will be lost yeah. it because it is through mistakes we learn many things and you begin rebelling in strange ways you become passive aggressive to the people who care for you and you try to find ways to get out yeah. but how do you think parents can strike that balance because it's 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 not the same it's not the same you know many people they do keep a camera inside the house right oh this is my is my baby sitter taking care of my baby properly there is plus and minus to it at that age you do require it because you don't know whom you are entrusting your child with in the school it's a different story there are many many children playing around many teachers looking after them so i i think seeing watching everything and telling your children what you are doing what you are seeing is different from having a, a technology inside your bedroom or in your living room watching because you are not interacting with a toddler you are not interacting speaking to a 2 months old how was your maid why oh, saw you crying did you cry why were you crying these questions are not there in fact you are taking action directly uh, in a reciprocal way with the attendee or the caretaker such is not the case in the school so you are only satisfying yourself oh i saw my child and i saw is doing very well that's all what more are you doing